Hey everybody, it's Michael Marston with Unity Intercom, and I wanted to talk a little bit real quick about Unity Intercom and program feeds and IFBs and mix minus and uh, all of that. Essentially, those are all just terminologies, um, but we at Unity Intercom, we do deal with a lot of different worlds. And we started calling... In, in a Unity Intercom, we, we called our audio input feeds, we called them program feeds. And I think we're going to stop doing that because I do believe that is confusing people. As in many cases, there's really only one program feed, um, but we allow potentially up to 64 different audio feeds, but we called them program feeds. Um, so essentially, here's the deal with all that. What you're seeing above here, this is the desktop, the Mac desktop client of Unity Intercom. And I'm logged in as Cam1, and I have the ability to talk on channels one through three. Um, what you're seeing here is the audio server page, which is um, the brains of Unity Intercom. It's running on a Mac computer here, and it's where all my settings are. So by default, the 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 traffic that's talking on the six party line channels is what we refer to as our PL traffic. It's it's just unity to unity party line traffic. And the whole point of having different channels is a way of organizing the different types of party line traffic. So in my server here, you can see how I've organized the different channels. Um, this is These are just for examples. I've got um, field reports, station, producer, um, and these are all th these different channels right here. Um, and so I am, this is simply an, a way to organize the different comm traffic into the different party line channels. Now, Unity Intercom has the ability, the Mac computer can be hooked up to an external audio device like this right here. The external audio devices, audio inputs are automatically detected. And so I've got, a, I've got a bunch of different ones here. I am hooked up to a 16 uh, input device right now. Those audio inputs can be IFB feeds from an, a frame somewhere where the mix minus is already done for me. They can be any kind of audio feeds um, of any sorts. And what I can do with those audio feeds is I can come into my channels page here and I can inject any one of those audio feeds into one of these channels. So right here, field reports channel one. If I go like this and I map input one of my device here, if I map that into input one on channel one, audio is gonna be pumped into channel one and it's the whatever audio is plugged into the first input on my 16 input device, that audio is then brought into channel one of Unity Intercom. Um, and I can, it could be any one of those. That, the, the only issue with that is I'm bringing in that audio. It is not uh, volume controllable. It is not something that's gonna duck necessarily. What is often better to do is to not inject the audio into that party line channel but instead go to the audio feeds tab and go into the audio feeds tab and come down here and give each individual user um, the ability to select from the different program feeds. So I've got Cam1 right here is who I'm logged in as. I've given him the ability to select three different program feeds and those particular program feeds they can, on their app, they can scroll and listen to each one of those three program feeds independent of the party line channel traffic. And so I can come here and here's my program feed input and I can select IFB one, two, or three. That is a program feed that is in, um, in their ear that is interruptible and volume controllable. So we can take, just to, just to reiterate, you know, what it, What you can do is you come down to the different users here and um, you give them permission to listen to whatever program feeds you, you want to. 
And that is a that is a better way of handling the audio, but it's really what's best for you. There's a lot of people that would prefer to just come over to the channels page and click on, you know, and just and just map the inputs and bring in a mix minus um, into the different, you know, into those different channels. But I would recommend, um, I would highly recommend leaving some of these party line channels open for just party line Unity to Unity Calm traffic. You decide what's right for you, obviously, um, whatever makes more sense. But I just wanted to talk about the differences of, of injecting audio into a particular channel versus um, choosing that particular, choosing that audio to be a mix minus feed or an IFB feed. And coming down here and making those selectable listen only program IFB mix minus feeds, whatever you want to call them, um, so that a user can go to their settings here and then just flip through one at a time through the different uh, IFB feeds that are available. So you're not limited to just injecting audio into one of the six party line channels because that would be pretty limited, but you can also come down here. And you can give individual users all these channels, these IFB feeds to, to choose from. That's in the audio feeds portion. This, this section up here is where you can help make sense of all these audio feeds by giving them a name and in per perhaps um, messing with their input level. And you can also choose a default audio feed. And that default audio feed is by nature available to everybody. Um, but anyway, that that is a little quick discussion on Unity and the different audio feeds that you know are available and using them as audio feeds that are injected into the program channels or the party line channels, or audio feeds that are available for uh, user selectable IFB feeds.